Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on cube roots. So before we talk about cube roots, let's uh, do a quick review about square roots. So we have the square root of 100, and we know the square root of 100 is going to be 10 or negative 10. So it's going to be plus 10 or it's going to be a negative 10. Because 10 times 10 gives us 100, but also negative 10 times negative 10 gives us 100. So knowing that, we're going to know the square root of 16 is going to be either positive 4 or also negative 4. Uh, because 4 times 4 is 16, or negative 4 times negative 4 is also 16. So again, when we're talking about square roots, we're talking about numbers that are multiplied together, that are identical, right, to get the original number, which is 100 in this case, and then 16 in this case. So for the square root of 36, we know that the length and width are both going to be 6 and, and 6. All right. So now that you uh, got a, little re a reminder about square roots, let's talk about cube roots. And my first question for you is, how is this cube over here different than the square over here? And the answer is, a square, this square only has two dimensions. It has a length and a width. But this cube has a length, a width, but then also a height. It has a third dimension. So three. this shows what three cube looks like. Right, three cubed is the length is three, the width is three, and also the height is three. So I can rewrite this as three cubed equals, and when you multiply three times three times three, we're really finding the volume of the shape, and three times three times three equals 27. So three cubed equals 27. So now that you understand what it means to cube a number, let's turn the page. And let's talk about the cube root, all right? The cube root is kind of just the opposite of what we did. Instead of saying three times three times three is 27, I wanna know what number times itself three times is 27. So we're gonna to try to figure out the cube root of 27. So the way you do this is you draw the square root sign and put a 27 in here, but then you put a three on the outside. So that means cube root. So the question is, what number times itself, times itself again, equals 27? And this single in here will give us the cube root. And of course, we know it's going to be 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 27. Now here we have uh, what's the cube root of negative 8. And this is how these are a little bit different than uh, square roots. If this was just what's the square root of negative 8, we'd say there's no solution, because um, you can't have a negative inside the radical sign. But this is going to have a answer of negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 well negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 and 4 times negative 2 gives us a negative 8. So the cube root of negative 8 is only negative 2 in this case. Alright, so now they understand what cube root is, when you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's head to these practice problems. So the first one is we want to know the cube root of 216. So the question is what number times itself, times it's itself a third time gives us 216? And I know that 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 6 is 216. So the cube root of 216 is going to be 6. Now here they want to know the cube root of negative 27. Well, again, we want to know what number times itself times itself again will give us 27. And the answer is going to be negative 3, because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, and 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. This last one's a little bit easier because uh, it's, it's a thousand. And again, the question is what number times itself times itself gives you a thousand. And I know 10 times 10 gives me a hundred. And a hundred times 10 gives me a thousand. So the cube root of a thousand is going to be 10. All right, last but not least, it says true or false. The volume of the cube is four to the third uh, power cubic inches. And the answer is, is true, because the length of the shape is 4, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. The width 
is also four. You can see the four green, two, three, and four. And then the height is also four going up. It's one, two, three, four. So if I did four times four times four, that would give me the volume of that, of that cube. All right, how'd you do?